Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Millie and today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas butter cake. It's really easy to make and I'm sure you're going to like it. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to make a Christmas butter cake. It's my grandmother's recipe, so it's very special to me and I wanted to share it with you. It's really easy to make. I think it's great for Christmas, but you can make it any time of the year too. So I'm going to show you the ingredients now. You will need three cups of flour, one cup of milk, 150 grams of butter, five eggs, one cup and quarter of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, pecans and raisins to taste, and baking powder. All the ingredients are going to be listed down below in the description. Okay, first mix the butter until it has a creamy consistency. Then add one egg at a time, and the secret here is to mix it from three to four minutes for each egg. At this point the sugar should be really well mixed. You can taste a little if you want to see if it's ready. Now add the flour little by little, alternating with the milk, and then finish with the remaining flour. Once it's very well mixed, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is optional, but you can add one teaspoon of liquor. Here I'm using Pisco, an exquisite Peruvian distilled spirit. Once it's done, preheat the oven at 300 degrees. To finish, add the pecans and raisins and mix well. Here 
Here I'm using a 9 inch round cake pan. It already has butter on it and parchment paper. You can use some flour if you want on the sides. And then pour all the mix. and then put it in the oven for about 30 minutes first. After 30 minutes, check how well cooked it is. If you need more time, increase the temperature to 350 for about 15 more minutes and check again. Then check with a cake tester, if it comes out clean, it means that it's ready. Then I sprinkle powdered sugar on top, maybe you can use a stencil to form a shape, or you can decorate it as you wish. I put this ornament on top to make it more Christmassy and this is the final result. The consistency should be more compact, not as fluffy as a sponge cake, for example. So let me know in the comments what do you think. If you are going to make it, let me know. So I hope you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!